Hey, welcome back to Two Douchey Guys. Soup. We're here with another beer review. Yes, we are. What do we got today? Today, we have from Double Mountain Brewing Company, Peche Mode, which is a Belgian-style sour ale brewed with peaches. <laughs> to quote them. <laughs> yes, literally almost <laughs> right off the, the bottle. bottle. Yeah, You know, it is. <laughs> um, previously, he did a I did review it. on a Festina Peche. From Dogfish Head. Um, I don't even remember what you gave it. I don't think we're doing quite ratings. At Not the time. both of us. Not numbers. But uh, this one, I, I I didn't dislike the Peche style. It wasn't my first choice, you know. But I do like peaches. <laughs> I like anything that says sour in the name. I do too. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to try this. Now, uh, I know you already looked this up. Where does this fall on Rape Beer? Rape Beer doesn't give it a score. <laughs> Um, I think there were eight reviews total, uh, just based on some quick math, I think it averaged out to a 3.5, so I'm guessing is around a 70 to 75 on Rate Beer. Alright, sidebar. On Rate Beer, <laughs> what does it take to generate a rating? How many how many uh, reviews do they have to have? Um, I actually don't know. I, I don't either, that's why I was thought maybe you would. Yeah. Uh, um, but that's why you come here, we can give you the straight scoop on... Yeah, we don't Everything care if anybody else is rated. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna follow. We've obviously rated some things high and low based off of you know what we thought versus what rate beers reported. We're gonna give you what we think. So we anyway, might look so. like jackasses because of it, but that's why we're here. Hey, so let's break into this. I'm kind of excited, so let's do that. Okay, that's about what I expected. The bottle actually, actually not, when you look at it, the bottle's actually kind of green. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and pour yours because I actually am getting swirls of uh, sediment versus, you know, the dogfish. They make theirs crystal clear all the time. But look at that. That's got a lot of sediment in there. A lot of something in there. Imagine it's yeast, but we're hoping. <laughs> and do you know where Double Mountain's out of? I'll check. <laughs> Cause I'm because I'm not sure. Because no, I don't. This is the first I've seen. They are out of Hood River, Oregon. Ah, all right. Don't Oregon. know where that's at, other than it's in Oregon. Great hot producing country, and mm. also quite a few good beer breweries out there. Yeah, the big one in Oregon, I believe, is Rogue. I think they're in Oregon. Are they out of Oregon? And then we've had the Duchettes. I mean, Duchettes is another one, but... So, um, Double Mountain. So, appearance. Yes. Appearance. Cloudy. Definitely cloudy. I got golden. A, I even have a little bit of sediment in the yeah. bottom. Golden orange yellow. No head really to speak of. Dissipated rather quickly. Yeah. Which, if it's sour enough, um, it's traditional with the style. Yeah. It, it really doesn't stick around. So let's get a nose. Let's do it. Exactly what I expected. Yeah. <laughs> um, you get that. You get some tartness. You get that. So you get the tartness sense that it's going to be sweet or uh, tart. Yeah, you get the vinegar acid mix in there. Yeah. Um, you do get the peach. Um, it's not like a pungent kind of peach. It no, more it's... kind of blends in with the acidity. Yeah, it's pretty subtle. Um, if you've had a beer that is infused or infected, whatever you want to call it, with a like a lactobacillus, that's what you're getting. Yeah, for and, sure. And and you'll know lactobacillus has that. Uh, explicit kind of smell to it. You so, know when you have it. There's almost something in there though that wants me to think it's going to be a bit salty too and maybe that's uh, from some recent yeah, see, samples. <laughs> it smells like it should be pretty sour but I have the sneaking expectation where it's not going to be as sour as I want. But let's, let's, find, let's find out, out. because I'm hoping it is. Yeah. Actually, pretty damn close. That's quite sour. Um, right up front, you get with a little bit of the bitterness. There's not much in there. Um, after that, though, and it really runs the whole course of the taste buds or the tongue. Peach, acidity, vinegar, a little bit of saltiness. Yeah. Um, super dry as well. You do get a little bit of the crackery, biscuity malt in there, but really it's dominated by the acidity. Um, and the fruit kind of tartness. And I want to <clears throat> stop you there and say that the peach in this is a 
beautiful peach. Yeah. This is a an all a ripe, almost overly ripe peach. It's got I mean it tastes fresh. It's subtle. It's don't don't think that it's peach fago. This thing nothing is peach fago. <laughs> this thing and we're not sponsored by them. Uh, this thing is really subtle, but it's this like, is like a real peach, not a peach flavor, fake thing, or an overly pick too soon peach. This thing is ripe. It's like if you go to a peach right tree you and you see the peaches on the ground and you eat one of those. Yeah, it's subtle. You get the juiciness, but if you take the time to enjoy this, <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's there. Yeah, so you get the juiciness, but it is dominated by the lacto acidity. <clears throat> peach tartness and, it, and, it, and it's good it's not a bad infected type of flavor no really, this is this is what I would expect from I say it fuses together it's really good um, but again I'm just I'm just stunned by the fact that how real that tastes it's not like a fake peach or a overly done peach it's a subtle peach that's ripened to perfection which is good because if I find out that your beer has fake flavors in there, I'm not going to drink you ever again. So, well, if they did, then the chemist did well. Yeah. <laughs> also, like I said, this one, this bottle has number one. It's a, it's a nice bottle. Yeah, it is. Um, it's also very heavy, but it is green. It's not your typical brown yeah. bottle. It's it. I mean, it's a dark green. Don't get me wrong. You can't really tell, but yeah. It, it, Thought that was kind of interesting, but I too. anyway, let's go to let's, rating now. Let's rate it. Uh, like we said earlier, there aren't enough reviews for it to have a score on Rate Beer, so this is entirely uh, unbiased. All of our videos are, but we have nothing to even compare it to. Okay, so, so for style, what are we going to call the style? Um, you call it a sour ale, in my opinion, or an American wild. Okay. Uh. No, the bottle, like we said, is a Belgian style sour ale. Yeah, it does. Um, which to me, no, we're just gonna call it sour. Or and a, to be frank, I'm gonna be comparing this with the Festina as well in my head. Um, but I'm gonna give this a seven and a half. I, I actually enjoy what they're doing with this. I think it does fit. A st sour uh, style, and uh, I find it appealing. For the style, give it an eight. Um, it's got maybe a little too much of the vinegar taste uh, towards the back than I would necessarily want. And it's weird because it's kind of like a mix between vinegar and alcohol, but with like no peach flavor. It's like a, a little spike, and it, it's weird. I don't know if I've really ever experienced it, but for the me peach that kind of definitely comes in the aftertaste. Yeah, no, later. the peach is pretty much all the way through, except for that little spike that I'm getting. Um, but no, it's it's really well done. It's well blended. Yeah, it works. <laughs> um, you can tell that there's actual peaches in there. Um, so yeah, I'll give it an eight for style. Okay, and uh, overall, I'll, I'll go. Uh, Seven and a half or eight. I think you can't do or. No, you're right. I'm going to go seven and a half. I think it's very well done. And in fact, if I were comparing this to the Peche, from uh, the Festina Peche from Dogfish Head, I would probably choose this one. It's not as carbonated. Mm. It's still well carbonated for the style it needs to be. I say it, it actually is well um, carbonated. I think they're doing this really well. And I think... I want to say I got a better peach flavor out of this than I did with the other. So I'm going to rate this a little higher than I would probably that. Um, and I do like sours. And I think if it was hot out, this would clean your palate and just refresh you so well. I'm going to stick with 7.5 on this. I think it's a good good execution. It's been a while since I've had the Festina from Dogfish Head. Um, as far as what you're saying about the... Uh, like the summer factor mm. that it has, I think it'd dry the hell out of you. Dehydrate the hell out of you, but yeah, it would. <laughs> um, no, I, I get what you're saying though. As far as the summer beer, you could probably have a couple of these. Be fine. Um, the ABV's pretty low. I would I imagine. Uh, oh, wow, no, eight point six. Wow, which is pretty high. Not, I'm not tasting for, that. Yeah, for a for a sour yeah, style. Definitely. I guess I did get that little blip. Yeah. Which. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't lead me to think. Yeah. 
Um, now, for overall, where you cut me off. Yep. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll drop it down to a seven. Um, it's good for the style, but with the type of vinegar acidity that you're getting in this, you can't have more than a couple, really. Yeah. Um, it will. It does have the pucker factor. Yeah. Now back to that. Uh, I think the as far as the sour style, I think this did better probably than the Festina Peche from Dogfish Head. But I feel that the Festina Peche had more of a wine-like quality. It's more refined and a little smoother. Probably appeal to more people than what a standard sour would. And I think this though hits the sour note much better. And we can't get this beer um, here. And I said it was out of Hood River, Oregon. Right. Um, she got this one from bringonthebeer.com, uh, and happy that she did. Yeah, definitely. Um, again, we don't know how big they are, what their distribution is, so we're happy to get it. It's an awesome beer. Um, but yeah, happy to happy to get this. If you can get it, uh, and you're in Oregon or wherever they're at, get it. Yeah, especially if you like the sour style. I think yeah. you're nailing the sour style. Just there's them. there's a certain smell that you get. Um, whether it be a traditional sour or like a Berliner Weiss or any of that. And a lot of people just describe it as funk, and you'll know what it is. And it's in this, and whenever you get that smell, for me, I get excited. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> Always been a sour flavor fan. Yeah. So, no, uh, no, this, candy or whatever, yeah, but this, this definitely is, works. yeah. So, so I was excited, it lived up to the smell, so. Yeah, so that's a 2DG for your beer review. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment! We need to talk. 2DG. See you.